All right, real quick video here. Um, just to answer, some of you have asked me, what do I think about the Steven Anderson channel shutdown thing? Not totally shut down yet, but it's received supposedly two strikes. They have a, a little thing here, a little video on this. And he talks about the thing there. And it's, um, can't make any videos. Um, right there, he talks about it. June 18th, they got two strikes. And they can't make any videos till the ju July the 13th and, and whatever. And oh no, he's been, he's going to be taken down. I would be very shocked if they take Steven Anderson's channel down. Um, I mean, he's been violating community guidelines for so many years now. Internationally reported as a hate preacher and, and banned from going to other countries. I mean, come on. <laughs> I think it's damage control because Anderson has been outed as a total hypocrite. Um, he stands against the government, all this stuff. I'm not, you know, he'll stand up against the Border Patrol and they break his window and tase him and all this stuff. But, uh, you know, he's you know, against FEMA pastors and he's, you know, he's not, nobody's going to tell me what to do in my church. Then he shuts down his church. I did the live stream on that. Shuts down his church and uh, says, you know, about how that uh, we shut it down, but now we're going to reopen it, you know, to make masks for people. You know, and I, I pointed that out. Anderson answered back, you know, it's this, this guy, I've been on this guy's case for years because he's a fake. He's a fraud. It isn't just, well, I disagree with him on some issues. I saw right away that this guy was just being puffed by the media, trying to look like he's a King James Bible believer, and he's not. He corrects it with the Greek and the Hebrew. He doesn't believe it's God's perfect word. You can correct it and change it anytime you want. Again, some of his own people left him because of that reason. Um, I think it was uh, uh, Joe Major, uh, Manly Perry, and Dave Burzons, I think, left him on the Bible version issue because Anderson's starting to do the Greek thing and all this other stuff. And, yoking up with Calvinists and whatever else, which he claimed he would never do. Um, the guy's just, he's, he, his lies that he's built up over the years, the stands, the things that he was supposed to come out with and whatever to make look bad, he's contradicted himself so many times. So I just, I think that they're doing damage control right now. Like I said, I'll be shocked if they take his channel down, but, you know, whatever. But I find it interesting that there was a channel, a guy named Evan, and he was coming out with a lot of stuff, just really pointing out the hypocrisy of Steven Anderson. And uh, um, he was a member of, um, what's the guy in California? Uh, I call it, we call him Jiminy Cricket. Uh, Roger Jimenez, excuse me, Anderson's uh, childhood friend. And then they became ministry together. The two little shrimpy boys that, you know, think that they can preach. And, um, but this Evan guy was a member of Roger Jimenez's church and got kicked out and they Anderson and a lot of the other Anderson cult members have come out against this guy and he had some really good you know videos don't agree with a lot of what he was saying you know but you know he was he had a lot of really good videos exposing Anderson's hypocrisy and I find it interesting that his channel just all the videos are gone and that's kind of weird and I know his father was a military guy and whatever else I don't maybe he just stepped down just I'm getting out of here I I don't know but there's there's always been weird stuff you know with this whole Anderson Stephen Anderson thing uh, I've felt for years that it's a false you know military type psyop type of a thing and whatever else but I find it interesting that Anderson um, he gets two strikes two strikes and he can come back in July July 13th you know today's the first of July so July 13th and yet somehow my strike that I got for showing Anderson's Holocaust denial you know is still there it's still up warning on January 15th of 2020 and I deleted the videos you know I said okay fine whatever I'll delete the videos you know I wrote to YouTube and said what part exactly did, where did I violate your community guidelines so that I don't do this again in the future? Very sincere, very kind. No reply. None at all. And it's still there, this community guideline strike. And they never even told me what it was for. I just deemed inappropriate whatever else because I'm exposing Steven Anderson, and it's still there. And then if you go to the thing here, it says, you can learn more. You go to this whole thing here, and it says, uh, first strike, full privileges will be restored automatically with after the first or one week period, but your strike will remain on your channel for 90 days. Um, 
I think that uh, January 15th to July 1st is a little more than 90 days there, YouTube. Um, could you please follow your own standards and your own rules and remove the community guidelines strike from my channel, which you never even told me what it was really all about? It, I violated your community guidelines, but we, can't, we won't tell you what it was for. So, um, yeah, uh, just out there, uh, we have future plans uh, to get away from YouTube because of this ridiculous censorship and, and everything else. Um, but just please keep us in your prayers. Um, you know, we do some dangerous work uh, for the Lord. There's a lot of people that attack us, backstab us, and whatever else. I'm used to it from years and years and years of this, kind of what to expect. But uh, um, as long as we're the Lord wants us on YouTube, we'll stay on YouTube, whatever else. But uh, just pray that you know the Lord protects us and preserves us and, and puts his fear upon the heathen out there. That's a thing I pray a lot. Just um, just keep these people at bay so I can continue doing the work that I do. So. Uh, big announcement coming up very soon, um, probably within the next week or so. We'll see. Um, but uh, just please do keep us in your prayers. Thank you for watching.